Oh boy, it's one of those times. Hello everyone and welcome to this month's game devlog on the Blue Dots Expedition, a turn-based strategy flight game. This does not look like a great month to talk about progress, but I'll do my best to make it look like the opposite. For the longest time, I've been using the same ship for all four planned characters, but with the trigger pulled, I made some new ships, at least in terms of variable values, logic, and special moves. More on that in a bit. Which is at least something different from what I've been doing all this time. Even more so since I made a couple of designs for all the other ships months ago. I wanted to make the ships distinct from one another in looks and mechanics. The ship I've been using for months is built for speed. The second one is kind of a jack of all trades, good for a general situation, but not specific situations. Think of it as the Mario stats of the game. The third is the tank. Slow, but hits hard. The fourth is built for rapid fire, hence it being the one ship to have twin shooting as a default while the others shoot one bullet at a time. With the general idea out of the way, let's get into the special moves. Gotta have something more to differentiate them, right? At the time of writing, the finished visuals still need to be made. I focused on the logic using basic placeholder shapes to get the general idea across. I already had the speed ship built with its piercing dash attack that kills everything in its path. It's simple, satisfying, direct. <clears throat> Moving on. I made sure that the architecture would be modular enough to make implementation for other special moves easy by using Unity events for turning it on and off. With this in mind, let's get into the new special moves. The second one, with it being the middle of the road jack of all trades ship, I thought to give it something that would give it an edge in hairy situations. So I gave it a shield. Unlike the dash, it's defensive when you activate it. It drains the fuel when pressing the button once instead of holding it down. It does what you think it would do, it defends you from bullets, but you can turn the defense into an offensive because if you ram the shield into enemies, it can count as damaging them. After some playtesting and some level polishing, I think there can be some very useful situations a player can use this for. The third ship special move is Blunt. It's a heat-seeking area of effect bullet. Right now, it's just the default particle system, but I got it working with a couple of tricks. Reincorporating the bullet logic by adding a separate category for this bullet because you can fire it in a straight line, but it's more effective when you have a locked on target. The most important trick is using the overlap logic in the physics class to turn on an invisible wireframe sphere if the enemies or asteroids are caught in it. The last one is my personal favorite. Because the fourth ship is built for rapid fire, I thought of adding some more bullets that would fire on their own. Smaller objects with a set rate of fire independent of your center bullets. Almost like a bullet health ship. In the ship design, these would be tiny pieces that would break off before rotating, but I don't have a model and that could wait. Next time I hope to get more progress done. Any progress. Any more progress is better than this month. Especially since I want to keep to my schedule to be content complete by the end of the year, leading to polish for months and months afterwards. That'll be it for this month. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Take care of yourselves and have a good week.